Hi, welcome to my market update uh, for October 2021. Uh, this is a report based on market information from September 2021, so last month, um, and demand actually remains very high here in Spotsylvania, Stafford, and in Prince William counties. All the other areas surrounding us in Northern Virginia and King George and Caroline County, they're actually seeing more of a balanced market in those locations right now, but Spotsylvania and Stafford and Prince William still are experiencing very high demand. On average, a buyer demand is about 75% of the market, meaning out of every 100 homes on the market, 75 are gonna sell. Uh, right now, our demand is 90%. So out of 100 houses coming on the market, 90 of them are gonna sell. That is 15% above average. Uh, but it is 7% less than last year. Uh, so our demand going into the fall this year is less than it was last year. This whole market that we're experiencing from the beginning of this year started in October of last year. So we will see that demand is gonna be a little bit less this year than it was last year. That is to be expected and it is very normal for that to happen. Right now it takes about 13 days on average for a home to sell. Uh, I want to make sure you guys understand that that is not normal. That is not normal. The normal amount of time it takes to sell a house is 30 to 60 days. As a matter of fact, in 2019, it took 49 days on average for a house to sell. So 13 days is anything but normal. It's going to feel a little bit different because we're not experiencing the houses are selling in three, four, seven days. They're taking a couple weeks to sell on average. Um, so setting that expectation right off the bat, no need to panic if your house hasn't sold in a weekend. It is totally okay and right in line with what's happening with the market. The average sold price went up nearly 14% compared to September of last year. Year over year, uh, prices are up 13.5%. Uh, so that you made an excellent investment in your house. Uh, the number of homes sold in September may feel like it was a lot, but it was actually only a 4% increase. Um, in the homes that sold in the month compared to last year. But there was actually 7% more homes on the market this year compared to last year. So that shows you that uh, demand is decreasing just a little teeny bit. Um, so 7% more homes on the market, but only 4% more sold. So there's a difference of 3% there. That's where you see that uh, demand has decreased just a little bit. Uh, sellers are selling closer to listing price right now. So last year or so far this year, the average has been that a seller is going to sell the home for about 1.7% above the listing price. In September, sellers basically sold their home right at listing price. Uh, so we are seeing less negotiation above the listing price. Why is that? It's because we are not seeing the numbers of multiple offers that we saw a year ago. So a year ago, it was not unusual for a house to receive six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20 offers. These days, houses are seeing one, two, or three offers on a home. Um, and so that drive to drive the price up and to inflate the price is not happening. And one thing I'm seeing is a lot more uh, sellers are willing to work with a buyer and giving the buyer some closing cost credit as well. Uh, so that's taken into consideration with this number. So most sellers are selling their home at their listing price. So when you're thinking about setting your listing price, we need to think about setting the price at the right price, a price that it's going to appraise, and that's where we should think about selling it. A year ago, we were setting the price and we were hoping it's going to appraise for a higher price because that's where it was going to end up. Now it's a little bit more realistic with that. So what are some key takeaways from this data? Number one, it's still a great market to sell, but it's become an even better market to buy in. 
This is a better market right now than it was a year ago. This is a better market right now than it was 17 months ago. So this is a great opportunity to both sell and to buy. Values are still increasing, but because there are fewer buyers to compete with, um, it's not as cutthroat as it had been. And um, buyers are able to secure contracts um, without having to put out uh, 10, 15 offers on different houses. Sellers, and I alluded to this earlier, sellers are still receiving multiple offers, but more like two to four offers on their property, not the 10 plus that we saw last year. My forecast for the next three months is we'll see continuing steady home price increases there'll be less competition among buyers, and there will also be less inventory coming on the market compared to last year at this time. Interest rates are still gonna remain low, but they'll probably fluctuate two, three times before the end of the year. The market is actually gonna feel like it's slowing down, and if you talk to any real estate agent that does not do the research on the data, their feeling is what they say the fact is, and we all know feelings are not fact. Uh, but it's going to feel like it's slowing down, but it really isn't. We are just used to the fast pace that we've seen over the last 18 months. And when things have changed a little bit more to a normal pace, not even normal, it's going to be better than normal, um, it's going to feel a little bit different. Um, I expect the market, market to continue to perform above average, um, especially above the pace of 2019, which was an amazing, amazing year. Uh, so what do you do now? If you're thinking of selling your home in the spring, now is the time for us to get together and put your plan together for getting your house ready for the big show, for the big show, and maximize your equity. The big show is when it's photographed and put on the market. We wanna make sure the packaging is absolutely impeccable. That will put dollars into your pocket. If you are thinking of buying, right now is the best time to buy. Today is not as good as yesterday to buy. Tomorrow is not as good as today to buy. Today is the day to buy. If prices keep increasing the way they're increasing, they're only increasing about 3% a month. But if today you wait until April to get in the market, that's six months from now, prices are gonna be up 18% compared to where they are right now. And interest rates might be up a little bit higher. So if you're considering buying, now is the time to do it. If you wanna talk more, reach out to me today. We can look at your specific situation and put a plan together for you. But I just wanted you to know what's going on with the market today so you know what to expect in the future. Have a great day.